Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't anticipate making this video today, but as luck may have it, my new laptop from Origin PC has arrived today. I put new in quotes because, well, let's just say I already got this laptop about, uh, actually it was over a month ago. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. What day is it specifically? December 21st, 2023. Let me pull up a chair, because as you can see by this logo right here, we have some new technology to be reviewing. Sharp object, ugh. This video is not sponsored by Origin PC, because I do not take sponsors, and I'm also not popular enough to even receive sponsors. I think I opened it on the wrong side. If you haven't guessed by the title or the intro I just did, we have a new laptop today. Ugh. Oh yeah. Get the f out of the way. I don't need a chair. I stand like a king. The moment has arrived. Thank you for choosing Origin PC. Again, as I said, I'm not sponsored by Origin PC. I am not sponsored by anybody. And it's, um, it's gonna be difficult, but I did promise I would never do a brand deal. We have the shipping information. You guys don't care about that, except for the model. It is the Eon 16 SL, so that's cool. Next, we have the power cable, I'm assuming, in this fancy box. Let me make it simpler for some of the younger people to understand. Santa Claus came early this year, and really, he went all out and got me a very expensive laptop, and I can't be more grateful for it. We have the power cable. That's good. This, we don't need. This is for the microphone. And then after all this, we get the laptop, the Eon 16 SL, along with some other goodies like shirts, which I will be wearing for this episode, this episode, this video. Ah, come on, there we go, don't throw it, there we go. This is a custom print that I did on the front, and we have the peel. Oh, that's, wait, that's one. Oh. Look at this, this is so thin. And if you wanna know the specs, give me one moment while I find the shirt. So, uh, we experienced, well not technical difficulties, shipping difficulties. This shirt and this shirt were both in my brother's box because we both got the same exact laptop. <sighs> now, it's time for the specs of this thing. In this laptop that has a thinner form factor than my Acer Nitro 5 from three years ago is a RTX 4070, an Intel i9, 3600 something, 32 gig, no, not 32, 64 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of SSD. The next day after it was fully set up, it stopped working. So then eventually we sent it back like a couple weeks ago and I just got it today. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by Origin PC, but they also delivered me another device that I use on a daily basis. So thank you for one of the two devices working as intended, and now we're gonna try this one. But before we continue, I think there's something down here that I need to put on. There we go, this is um, much better. You see, when I first got my PC back in January of 2023, I was supposed to get shirts. I did not get shirts. I checked the box, maybe they were hidden somewhere in the crate when I first opened it, but I did not get any shirts. I did get a mouse pad though. This has not really been touched today. So we're gonna peel that off. Peel that off. Ooh. Wasn't that sexy? Ooh. All right, well now that everything's been peeled, we can officially power this thing on. My amazing mother already went through all the updates. So hopefully that means that we don't have to update it anymore. So we're gonna hit it and hopefully it'll boot up. Let's throw all these away while we wait. And we're gonna also wanna probably plug this in. We're gonna plug it into the same outlet as my previous origin device. As you can see, the license agreement is here. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna set up a secondary angle so you can view the screen better because you're not getting the best view here. And then once we get into the device, we can actually start the screen recording. So give me a moment. Angle B has been started. This device is pretty powerful, like I said, in concept. Now, of course, the mobile versions of the graphics cards, like the 4070 or the 4090, aren't as powerful because they're smaller. But we should still see a big performance boost from my old device, right? Wrong! So we're gonna pull out my new mouse 
and test this thing out. We have the high quality computer mouse that totally works. I'm not flipping you guys off, I'm flipping off them because they're, their buttons are terrible. I, w I was really hoping there'd be a sticker in here because I want to start collecting stickers on this laptop because I'm going to be taking this everywhere I go. I'm going to be taking this on trips. I'm going to be taking this on vlogs when I have my backpack. I'm going to have this everywhere, hopefully. And then once that happens, I'll just be able to record games or get B footage whenever I want. And also I'll be able to edit on the go, which will be great. Oh, I should probably go over the specs here. We have USB-C, USB-A, micro SD, a headphone jack, and got the power here, mini HDMI, another USB-A, and another USB-C. This is a video and audio test for the laptop. I'm using the full HD webcam and the microphone array, and you can probably hear the fan noise as well. It doesn't look like it's lit that well. I'm gonna turn on my ring light, and as you can see, it looks a little better, but I would honestly buy an external webcam if you were planning to stream with this thing, so use your own risk. Not the most, uh ports I've ever seen, but it has some stuff I'll probably use in the future, like an SD card if I ever get a camera, for example. I really won't use more than like a microphone and a mouse. Okay, it says almost there. Hold on, I'm not connected. Oh, no, come back. Now, listen to this. Can you hear it? The fans have already started. Uh, that's a common trend. When you have laptops, they are always loud, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, we have some stuff here that we're going to delete later. Let's just get Dropbox installed. And I hope the camera doesn't get too messed up. Also, this is Windows 11 Pro. This isn't even the regular Windows 11. I'm gonna uninstall OneDrive. That is the first thing we uninstall because I will never use OneDrive and I hate it. We're also uninstalling Cortana while we're here and ClipChamp. All this bloatware is just on here and it sucks. I don't intend to use Office, so we're gonna get rid of Office. And then, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to get rid of. That's good. And hopefully once I sign in, I will be able to just instantly sync all my bookmarks and all of my passwords. Get rid of Edge. I don't want to see you ever again. I don't know my password. I'm gonna have to go to my computer. We're back. So you can hear a lot of stuff is happening right now. We have three different games running. So we're gonna run Minecraft, Fortnite, and Cyberpunk, maybe even GTA, because it is also installed. And we're gonna see how good they can perform. We're gonna start with Minecraft here. Okay, so we are doing our first real world test we're testing minecraft and we're putting on max shaders on optifine because for some stupid reason fabric isn't working and i don't know why um we're just gonna go into a world and see how good it looks and see how many frames we can get yeah we're loading up so we're loading in i hope it doesn't crash i don't know how much a 4070 mobile can take it might be dead i don't know it might not work we might have to get in first and then turn on shaders <sighs> oh Oh, so we're in the game. It's frozen, though. That's weird. Oh, is it, is it trying to capture it and it's not working? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, we're going to turn off the capture and see if that works. Um, nothing is happening. I think it's broken, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna open Task Manager and we're going to close it. End task. You just ended the wrong task. How could you fucking mess that up? Okay, yeah, I know you closed because you fucking broke, but that's okay, because we're gonna fix you, okay? So as you can see here, at some point, my lav mic audio just stopped working, so the rest of the audio is gonna be from my phone, which is not optimal, but it is what we have to work with. Sometimes this just happens, I don't know why. Holy shit, this video's gonna take like 13 years. Okay. I can't even load Minecraft with shaders, are you serious? Or maybe it's just Optifine, I don't know, but this is, this is not what I was expecting. So I assumed that this thing would be able to handle the best shaders, and it can't. We're gonna do Fortnite and see how that goes, because Fortnite clearly is better optimized. I don't care, I don't care. If it can't run these games, dude, it's actually worse than my PC. And I'll be shocked to see if that actually happens. Okay, we're loading into a solos game. Look how good this looks. Hot damn. Okay, we're loading in. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh, we're in. And we're getting 30 FPS. That is more than I was expecting. Okay, we're going into a game, guys. It's very loud. Not the game, the f***ing fans. Well, as you can see, we're getting a... <laughs> we're not getting a solid 30 FPS, that's for sure. But we are getting good... I mean, it's playable. I've played with worse frame rates than this, let's be honest. I mean, if we stare at the sky, we get upwards of 42. We'll get, okay, we'll, we'll rate it on like a grading system of A through F. Oh, nope, nope, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, my game is freezing, that's not good. That's not good. 
It's not good. Yeah, this is this is unplayable. Actually, we're gonna give this an F. Mm. We gave Minecraft. NA because it didn't even run. Of course, you can still run the game at like medium, probably, but I wanted to see how, how well it would perform on max settings. We're gonna turn it down to medium to try again and see if it looks any better. Okay, we're getting 60 FPS right now. It's not steady, but it's 60. I'm not even noticing frame drops. We're getting solid movement, and the game doesn't look half bad. I mean, I think this is playable. Loud as heck, but uh, it's playable. I would give this I would give this an A, but this isn't maxed out. So if we try to average it, it would be like a C for Fortnite. Minecraft didn't even run when we tried to use shaders. We could try regular. This is not a scientific test, obviously. <laughs> I don't know how to make it scientific. Uh, we're in. Frame rate is roughly 200. Let's turn off the render distance. I'm sure it's too low. Oh, noticeable frame bump, but we're getting 125 frames on max out. Oh, never mind. It dripped down to 50. Now it's 40, oh my god. We're getting anywhere from 20 to 60, maybe 70 FPS with max render distance, which you never really use. I mean, I know most people don't even do that with beefed out PCs because Minecraft is just not coded properly. Let's do 16, that's about average. And on average, we're getting a solid 200 FPS. That's, I'd give that a B okay. because I know that this could run max settings, but it isn't, and I don't know why. It's passing, right? It's not the greatest. Let's try Cyberpunk 2077, if it will even run. Overdrive, oh yeah. And we should be able to see the effects, whether it's positive or negative. But look at this, just the cutscene looks pretty good. I'm sure that doesn't mean it's gonna look high quality in game, but this is a, you know, this is a start. Ooh, look at how crisp this is. Oh, it doesn't even feel like there's any lag. Ooh, run benchmark. There's a benchmark option in, in Cyberpunk. Okay, so we're gonna, run a run, we're gonna run a benchmark. So far, Fortnite's kinda, it's all right. Max settings, you're gonna get around 30 FPS on average. And medium settings, you'll get 60 or above, roughly. Minecraft, as long as you don't play with shaders, you'll probably be able to play. Okay, oh, this is not looking good for us. This is a synthetic benchmark, I guess. I didn't know it was in the game. But we are getting 19, ooh, 16 FPS. This is not good. This is actually changing my mind about the score. I thought it was gonna be an A because of how smooth it was, but if it can't even run a scene, average FPS was 19. Yikes, the max was 22. Cyberpunk, gameplay-wise, it looked great. It didn't even look like it was stuttering at all. So I'll give that part an A. But the benchmarks and stuff, that... I'm gonna give like a D or an F. That's not playable. So overall, I think Cyberpunk is a B+. Oh, no. So slightly better than Fortnite. So far, this thing is not up to spec. It's not really keeping up with my PC. If you ever want to make sure that your computer is fully optimized, the number one thing you can do is go to system configuration and go to boot. First of all, make sure the timeout is under like 30 seconds and then also hit advanced options. Click this because it will be off by default and select your max number of processors. I already did it, but make sure that you're using the max number of CPU cores if you're not, obviously it's not gonna be as good. So make sure you do that every time you get a new device. It sucks that they don't do it. Wait, GTA isn't even installed? Oh, well then we're not gonna be able to test that. So the question is, should you buy a gaming, oh, it's probably really loud, we're gonna close this actually. So the question is, should you buy a gaming laptop in 2024? Unless you get a really expensive one that has like the most cooling, like it's water cooled or something, and it has actual graphics cards in it. Because these are mobile versions, they're not actually as powerful as the ones that you get in PCs. Overall, the experience isn't that bad. I mean, the fan noise is just something you have to get used to if you get a laptop, no matter what spec it is. And the gameplay overall it was mixed, but if you're playing on regular settings like I usually do, like medium or low, you'll probably be fine. You'll probably get anywhere from 30 to 60 FPS, maybe even more, depending on where you get it from. Me personally, I don't think I would recommend anyone to get a gaming laptop unless you don't have a permanent residence. Like, let's, just, let's say you're like me and you move between houses every other week, right? Friday to Friday, you go different houses like I do. You're gonna wanna play games and you're not gonna be able to carry a 60 pound computer back and forth all the time. Unless you're in that situation where you can't stay in one place for too long, I would not get a gaming laptop. I wouldn't get a laptop at all unless you were gonna be moving somewhere else. So a gaming laptop specifically, they are usually the most expensive. So if you aren't constantly moving around when you game, you probably shouldn't get this. You probably shouldn't get a gaming laptop at all. You should just get a PC that's probably twice as expensive, but it will last you forever. It will last you at least five years. So I would not recommend getting a gaming laptop in 2024, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. It just means that from my experience, a gaming laptop is never as powerful as a gaming PC, 
and a gaming PC is never as portable as a gaming laptop. So you have pros and cons to getting one. Thank you to Origin PC for not sponsoring this video. I'm not ever sponsored by anybody, if you couldn't tell. This came out of my own pocket and this was a Christmas present. Well, now you know the I guess gaming laptop experience in 2024. I can't believe that I'm actually so fortunate enough to have this setup. Like this is crazy. I'm so glad that I have everything that I have. And I'm very, I'm very grateful for you guys and your support. So as always, I will see every single one of you capable, amazing people in the next video. Bye bye. Draco. Draco. On the knock at Diego, Diego. say I'm still a wiggle.